Hello everybody, it's me Matebox and welcome back to Fay Farm. In this episode, I'm going to reach the 25th floor in the salt water mines. Are we ready to go? I mean, I have some food on me. Uh, I think it should be enough food. I don't think I need mana because I don't have any magic spells yet. Uh, besides for my tools, uh, but I don't think I need that. Uh, apparently, I think there's a, like a boss monster down there. Um, so I want to be prepared, but I feel like I'm prepared enough, right? Um, sure. This is fine, I think. So let's use our really nice shortcut. If you go over here, we have this thing that I activated. I made like some seals, a citrine seal or citrine, citrine. Not entirely sure how you pronounce it. And I placed that in the saltwater mines. And I made a uh, aquamarine. No wait. What's that green thing? Um, paradox. I think I made a paradox seal, and put it in my homestead. Uh, so I can now quick travel between them, between the two, and that's so nice. I have made seals all the way up to the twenty fourth um, level here. So let's go and just teleport all the way up to twenty four. And I have the remaining seal in my backpack. But I wanted to wait until I have it on camera uh, what's on the 25th floor in case there's like a cutscene or whatever. I'm not really sure what to expect. Oh no, the anchors, get away! I mean, while I'm here, I might as well collect some stuff. Uh, it's so nice uh, whenever you get like the iron upgrades, you can do like this. You use some mana and then you can uh, like um, take out multiple ores in a grid and that's so nice. And the shovel thing is so fun. I'll have to show you right here. Um, if you go to like a patch of dirt and use magic, look at this. That's so satisfying. <laughs> That's insanely satisfying. I love that so much. Uh, anchor! Anchor's away. <laughs> go away from me. Get away from my face. <gasps> a chesticle! But I don't like the chesticles in this game because I can't open them. They attack me! But I want to get loot. I guess I get loot from defeating them, but I want to open them up. And get much money and stuff. But that's not how it's working, unfortunately. And I can't wait to get even further upgrades. Because I'm sure, like, when they have, like, the bestest pickaxe. You can probably, like, mine out the entire room or something. <gasps> can we... Oh, I can't do anything here. Oh. Does that mean I can automatically teleport here? Oh, maybe I can. Oh, so I won't steal too much. But let's see, what's this all about? Go to... To the depths of the last level of the mines. This is exciting, people. This is... Oh, this looks peaceful, though. This is not what I was expecting. This looks so... Oh, what was that? Oh, it... Wait, that doesn't look... That looks like a kind creature. Hello? Neppy. Splash, sploosh, wee, whoosh. You don't look like an enemy. Uh, The case of the wondrous whirlpool. Could it be a new friend finds their way to me? Well, I'm the sprite of the Titan Sea, a water sprite, the great Neppy. Oh no, I don't always talk in rhyme. I've just been rehearsing my greetings since I haven't had a visitor in some time. That was the last one, I promise. Whirlpool, whirlpools, you say? Of course I know, know, of course I know about the whirlpools. I'm the one making them. Aren't they fun? Round and round they spin. They're destructive and have been stopping people from reaching Asoria. Oh no, I didn't mean for that to happen. Well, I can't stop them, but it's going to take a lot of energy. I'm going to need to eat the biggest meal I've ever had. Can you get the ingredients for me? We can make a feast. It's been forever since I've had a meal with a friend. Uh, this is not what I was expecting. I was expecting a boss battle. Uh, oh, now we need to make food. Okay. Do I have all of these? Steamed fish. Is that just like cooked on the thing? Sardine. Oh, okay. Um, sure, I'll get those things. That was not what I was expecting. What's this? Oh, it's an altar. Okay, uh, I should probably just take a picture of this. <laughs> so I have have it on, uh, on my hard drive or my Switch internal save. Uh, I was so expecting a boss fight. I'm perplexed. I think we needed, no, not these. We needed some sort of shells. I think we need these ones. Sand dollars. Okay, so I need steamed fish, sardine. Oh, that means I have to fish. Uh, diced roots. Are the sardines like a rare fish? Diced roots, sand dollar, and coral. Well, I think I have everything I need here, but I need to fish, so that's going to be so much fun. 
Fishy fishy. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, if you make like gems, you get so much money. Look at this. Look, you get like 250 per polished aquamarine. And if you get like topaz, it's like 313. So if you fill out like all the stands with gems, you will get so much money the next day. Like uh, the previous day, I think I deposited like uh, a full stack of gems. And I think I got about 8,000 money. It wasn't just the aquamarines and topaz, it was a bit of like peridot and the, the yellow ones, citrine as well. And they're not that valuable, but still this was a lot of money. So that's a great way of earning money in Fey Farm. But yeah, I need to fish and I'm not very great at fishing. I don't really fish that often. <laughs> I encountered a really weird bug yesterday because I played multiplier. <laughs> not... Hello everybody, it's me, multiplier. I mean, I played, I, I played, I played multiplayer with my sister. And for some reason, when I tried to fish in her world, the fishing hook would get stuck on my head. But for some reason, when I removed my hat, it started working again. So that's a very weird, <laughs> very weird um, kind of bug. Okay, we've got the black carp. I guess I can make that into like cooked fish. But I need some sardines. Those are probably by the ocean. But I also need like five other fish. I also need to fish more so I can uh, level up my fishingness and bu buy a better fishing rod. Wait, there was a rainbow fish? Oh, there it is. But yeah, the multiplayer is actually really fun, me and my sister. We played from like 6 p.m. until like 2 a.m. yesterday. It was so difficult to stop because like, oh, we just need to do this and this and this. And then suddenly, well, uh, well now it's a new day anyway, so we might as well do this <laughs> and this and this. Like, you never stop. There's like, not, there's never a logical stopping point. It's like, I mean, I can just continue playing. Why not? Who needs sleep anyways? Or food? Are you a shark? It's a blue catfish. Okay, I don't think there's sardines um, here in the river. I mean, since I'm here, I might as well deposit the things I have to get them out of the system. I think we can teleport right to it, so that's very nice. And I like that on the floors you can see like what kind of resources there are and like what chance. And I have a feeling that either we were just really lucky or um, there's more resources if you play multiplayer because I felt like there was a much more gems and stuff when I played multiplayer last night So that might be a thing. Okay, so now we only need the sardines and the steamed fish shouldn't be that Difficult, but it can be a bit time-consuming. I know for a fact that I have uh, Fished up a sardine before but I can't really remember where it was. Oh, maybe that's a sardine Are you a sardine? Mr. Fishy? It's very fast. Are sardines very fast? <laughs> I don't know. I hope it's a sardine because I need them. I need them so much. It is a sardine. Okay, nice. Two more of those and then we need to make some steamed fish. Oh yeah, I also have max inventory now. That's so... It felt it feels so good um, to have as much inventory space as I can. Okay, so there's this one I think. I think both of those are sardines. So if I need both of these, I'm good. Okay, sweet. One more. Oh, have the fish on me. I was like going to open a can of peps. Oh man, are you serious with me? Hello, where's my sardines? Sweet, we have all of the sardines. I'm not sure how many other fishes I have. Okay, I think we need two more. No, one more. We should need one more. Um, to cook and then we should have everything we need, I think. I haven't used this in forever. Actually, no, that's shard fish. Steamed fish, is that a cooking recipe? It might be. Uh, it's this, so fish fillet and fresh greens. Ah, okay, so I can make them into fish fillets then. Okay, cool, I have the ingredients. Uh, let's make three of them. I think that's what she wanted, or did she want more? Oh, five of them. Okay, we need to shop some more. Well, I'm on it. I'm not sure if I have enough greens. Do I have enough greens? No, I need to find more fresh greens. Okay, well, I'll just sleep and then we'll find that. That shouldn't be that difficult. I think I can use dandelions for that. Oh, it's still raining. I love that because that means I don't have to water my crops myself. It's lovely. So I knew there was like some dandelions over by the farmer. These blueberries look so delicious. They're like so blue and so berry-like. Isn't it crazy? This game is so chill. I love this game so much. So far, I think this might be my game of the year, to be honest. I just love it so much. Okay, I have some dandelion greens. Um, I will be on the lookout for some more while I'm still like out and scavenging. <coughs> no! <coughs> oh, is that the queen bee? 
I still don't know how to make like a bee farm, but um, I will not sell it. Don't really get much money for it either way. It's like 50, it's much better to just make gems and sell them. I get so many bugs. But I need dandelions. Dandelion. Dandelions, where are you? Are you up here, dandelions? Dandelion, oh, so much better. But not so much dandelion. But I need dandelion to make the steamed fish. Or else it's not going to be steamy. Only fishy. <gasps> More bees? I assume you can like put the worker bees into the colony as well. This was very eluding. <laughs> I don't have any teas on me. Do I? Do I not? I don't, I don't think. Well, that's fine, I guess. My inventory is stacked. I mean, while I'm out there, I might as well just collect this. I forget that this uh, forest exists <laughs> because I'm like either like by my ranch or in the caves. And like, oh yeah, there's like acorns and stuff here that I can use as ingredients. Oh, he no. Oh, wait, yeah. It was both dandelions and tea leaves. They were like the same color. <gasps> oh yeah, nice. This should be enough, I think. Very nice. Give me all the dandelions. Oh no, the backpack is full. There's also like a billion berries there, but I don't... What's this? Oh, it's a frog. I didn't see it. It looked like a potato or something for me. I'm not sure. I was like, why is the potato moving? Okay, they have everything now for the rest of the steamed fish. Yeah. Oh, that should be enough. Amazing. I'm curious to find out what actually happens when I like get down to the cave and give it all the things it wants. Okay, nice. I have all of them, but I might as well just put some more on cooking while I'm here. Uh, I like this one because it's like a mining efficiency and everything. Uh, let's make three of them. Yeah, let's do that. And we can also make this. All the summer and stuff. Oh, look at this. Cake or pie. Oh, yeah, we don't have any fruits left yet. I mean, that's right. Uh, mostly because I planted everything in the wrong season. I wasn't aware that like fruit uh, was season based. I was like, oh, yeah, I want plum. But plums are like not until like fall or something. So I was like, great. I bought the completely wrong one. Or is it winter? I'm not sure. Nippy, I'm back with the fishy. Fishy, fishy. Oh, I didn't see that, but there's like an altar. I have three sardines and five steamed fish. Look at this. It's all for you. <gasps> Look at that swirling magic. Let's talk to Neppy. Watch your step, you might get wet. We did it, a water wonder. You're back and I can smell all my ingredients. This is going to be so fun, even more fun than swirling around in a whirlpool. I'm going to start preparing the feast. Come back tomorrow and we'll have a little picnic. Then we'll deal with those whirlpools. I just can't wait. <laughs> okay, that's going to be very exciting. What's happening? Game? Oh, it's like, oh, please don't crash on me. I did all this work. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, please don't. New quest available. Do you have a quest for me? I don't think you have. Okay, so we need to sleep. Uh, I mean, I will do that, but before, since like only noon, I'll collect some stuff and then I'll meet the guys in the morning. Unless something interesting happens. I don't think it will, but... Oh, what's this? Neppy welcomed me back with enthusiasm. We ate together in that magical chasm. With your energy returned, Neppy infused my magical staff with a new spell. Ooh. We returned to the surface and cast it together. The whirlpools began to reverse. And just like that... We'd ended the whirlpool curse. The port reopened and visitors returned. Oh! With Neppy's help, a new spell was learned. You have access to the vortex spell. Open a spell with set L to select it. Okay, what's this about? Okay, let's see. Change spell vortex. How? Oh, let's try it. I'm not sure how it works. Oh! Dude, that's, that's amazing. Oh, that's going to make my life so much easier. Just look at this. The whole field. Oh, man, dude. That's actually quite crazy. This is, um, this is the best thing ever. Look. Oh, my God. That's a game changer. Wow. Oh, dude. That's going to make my farming life so much better. 
But people, I think this was enough for this episode of Faith Farm. If you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you people next time. Bye bye.